Oh my god! Holy shit, we're, we're here. We're finally doing it. After all the uh, finagling of me bothering Vile for like, what, a year and a half? So On whether or not we wanted to do this? Let's do it, let's do it. Me going, let's do it, let's do it. And you going, no. No. But I well, the whole thing about it was, is what can we contribute that has not been contributed already? But at this point, it's like, Dex wants to do it really bad. And all of my Let's Plays that I have are cut pretty much on hold because of technical issues. Oh, by the way, we're picking the best game file. Three? Yeah. Just because he's playing the Game yeah, Boy? Yeah, it's like the awesome 8-bit remix. This is it, welcome to Banjo-Kazooie. It's one of my favorite games ever. How about you, Val? Also one of the most let's played games on the internet. But we are gonna do but it justice. Yes. We're gonna do it just ice. Oh yeah, and that as well. Yes. Freeze easy peak, making a comeback. Yep. Freeze easy peak, hashtag freeze easy peak. Freeze easy. Or freeze easy 20. YOLO, yeah. Um, Are you gonna do all of the um, training? No, I'm just gonna go, I don't need to learn no basic moves. Because you, you perform the basic moves anyway when you go after the honeycomb pieces, which is what we're gonna do. 
Oh, all right, you're gonna show off all the honeycomb yeah. pieces, but at the same time, uh... Yeah. So this first move we're Her gonna do is a little backflip. Is uh, the Z button and the A button, and does a little backflip. And if you come up here, you can get a one up. Unfortunately, every time you uh, you save and quit the game, one ups don't save. So like, you can store up as many one ups as you want, but like after you save and quit the game, you come back and it's like, oh, all your one ups are gone, by the way. And you're like, what? No, that's why would you do this? That ra that move we just did is the rat -a tat and it's pressing A, while you and while you're still in the air, pressing B. It's very useful, and we will use that a lot. And that's honeycomb piece number one. And everything in this game speaks, by the way. Not, it doesn't shut up. The game's like, let me tell you. Those about onions everything. don't speak. They didn't have mouths, but if they did speak, they'd be screaming. But every time they saw <laughs> you, just the irreparable horror of just seeing Banjo running down the road. No, 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 no. no. The only I thing they could do like... is. <laughs> also, there is. A one up behind a waterfall, and uh, you can press A once you've jumped into the air to do a little. I guess it's kind of a double jump, although kind of just ban yeah. Kazooie flaps her wings a little. Yeah, bit you can use it to like height. reduce the amount of damage you take when you like come careening towards the ground. As like a uh, what's it called? Like a like you as you're falling down, you do it right before you hit the ground, yeah. so it kind of like resets the uh, momentum. Also, swimming is a big part in this game, and it's probably the most annoying part of the game itself. Is you know, I thought the swimming. controls for swimming were a little bit weird. No, yeah, they are. Like, it's like 3D platforming swimming controls. Like, every 3D platformer that has swimming, they have, like, really weird controls. But, yeah. Mostly because it's based off pointing and then hitting the A button. Exactly. But the, yeah, the, the A and A, again... It's kind of a double jump, but it doesn't really fill the double jump video game prerequisite because usually a double jump makes you go up higher, but this one doesn't really do it. This move is Z and B. I can't remember what the actual move's called, but it's really useful. Beak Buster or something like that? No, no, that's uh, we learned that one later on, actually. But that's oh, okay. not the Beak Buster. I don't know what the name of that is. I have to look it up. Also. You heard it here first, folks. That's something to look forward to in the next Let's yeah, Play we, series by BNDLB. What is the name of the Zen B? Buster. What is the name of the Zen B thing? We don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out next time on... We don't care. But I'm Sticky Tasty Honey Energy. Okay, bye. Sticky Tasty Honey <laughs> Energy! <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye. Just, I'm Sticky Tasty Honey Energy. Well, that's all I've got to say for myself. Everything in this game speaks. Also, fuck the cauliflower. Fucking hate. Cauliflowers don't speak, Dex. Fucking hate cauliflowers. I just, I... Every time, like, one of those fucking vegetables sees you, I'm just imagining just... It turns, looks at you, and just screams at the top of its lungs <laughs> in its head, and it's just like, No, 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 please, no, please, no. please, please don't come closer. No, please, no. please, please. It's the gritty reboot of Banjo-Kazooie. I'm waiting for it. Rare, make it happen. No, you fucking... You never make anything happen anymore. It would be free to play. You make a free to play Killer Instinct game instead of giving us Banjo 3, which is what we really want. You ready to go and fight the witch? You ready? The witch of the west. Are you pumped? Well, I am hold so on a sec right there, now. Bucko. Hold on. Wait a sec, because there's stuff and things to show. Look, if you try what? to go across to Gruntilda's lair before you've learned all the basic moves, you have this conversation with Bottles. He's like, don't go. You can't do it. I'm not fit. He's also like, I also won't fix the bridge until you've learned it, so you best do what I say. There you go. Oh, wow, really? Yep, and he's like, yeah. uh, the bridge is out. Can't go there. Please tell me you're gonna show off the uh, momentum thing. Nope. Also, if you learn all the moves and then try to learn the basic moves from bottles, you can keep pestering bottles. It's like kind of like prank calling someone when they're right in front of you. And it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Says a funny. Just... Stop calling me. <laughs> you can keep doing it. And he gives you a last warning. Says, "Don't do it what again." What is the last warning? What is he gonna do? Erase your save game? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Three. I was just kidding. Two. Bottles. No. One. After I read that, I was like, I was just kind of expecting the text box for bottles to say, You damn fucking right, you're sorry! 
You have fucking right you won't do it again. Here we are! <coughs> this is Gruntilda's lair. Gruntilda's lair serves as the main hub for the game. Also, here is our first Jiggy. It's me, Mr. Jiggy. Go find a picture of the piece missing! That music. It's like every single time. And Kazooie eats all of the jigsaw pieces we got. And I'm like, Do you think at, at some point, like, Kazooie's stomach is just bloated and full of nothing but gold yeah, jiggies? Like, that she's just dying inside? She's like, yeah, Banjo, we're gonna do it. She has gold poisoning. Can you get gold poisoning? I heard, like, uh, I've heard of lead poisoning, but is gold poisoning a real thing? I bet anything can poison you if it's mm. in high enough doses. Even air. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> I best stop breathing right away. <laughs> mm, Everybody, stop breathing. Air is poisonous. Dex, you should just stop breathing altogether. Okay. Uh, welcome to V and VLP. I'll call in demo tick or dice, and we'll get this D in going on. <sighs> Damn it! Uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I can hold my breath way longer. Okay. It's Mumbo's Mountain. It's the first level. Also, I run into the straight the enemy. Well done, me. Yeah, I was kind of like, uh. But you know okay. what, Dex? I'm gonna try to go through this LP without uh. Are yelling at me? Being Good. Without being critical okay, of you. Okay. So, two things. One, we picked up a Jinjo. Five Jinjos every world. After you collect all five, you get a Jiggy. Also picked up a Mumbo token. You need Mumbo tokens in order to use Mumbo's magic, which allows you to transform into various creatures, which you use to get Jiggies. Um, there are Mumbo tokens on every world, but Mumbo is only on specific worlds. But you need as many Mumbo tokens as you can get to use his magic. Also, jigsaw, uh, no, musical notes, a hundred of each in every world. Get a hundred, get extra life. Uh, you also need them to open note doors in Grotilda's Lair. Alright. But I have a question for you, Dex. Oh, yeah? Can Mumbo turn you into Kazoo? Can Mumbo, Mumbo turn Banjo into Kazooie and Kazooie into Banjo? No. This game is bullshit. That would be heresy. Heresy against the Lord Rare? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly that. <laughs> For some reason I had a lot of trouble with this. I don't know why. I got the first one and was like, okay, so I just... Got it. Whoops. Uh, whoops. No, I can do it. I got it. Hey, come on, Dex. You I can do this. it. I believe in you. I, I believe this. in the past you. The you... I got it. <laughs> yeah. I still took damage, though. Took myself to the tree. Dex, I believe in you. This you, one, I was like, okay, I, I, got it. I got it. Grr. Clever bear, find Kong's cold. Clever bear. Clever bear. It's not exactly cleverness. It's just like, oh hey, there are three orange-shaped blocks on the ground. We should probably like try and destroy them with oranges. Just a hunch. No, I think that's bullshit. You're bullshit. I like how he still throws the oranges like... Yeah, I'm gonna fucking get you. But Chimpy wants to be fed. So what are we gonna give to Chimpy? Oranges? Well, Chimpy says he likes oranges, and where are we gonna get an orange? Oh, right there. <laughs> but Vile, okay, so upset. yum, oranges are nice. <laughs> <laughs> but no, oranges are nice though. Oranges are very nice though. He just called us fat. Yeah, like, what's the implication? Is the implication that Banjo and Kazooie are fat, or is it just that Banjo is fat? Because Banjo's like, Banjo's like, oh, this doesn't mean a thing. Kazooie's just like inside the backpack, just like self-conscious. Oh, this does not help my self-esteem, girl. 
<laughs> Kazooie's self-image goes down the toilet. <laughs> Alright, it's time to learn the ancient ways of the egg. Beetle breath? That's mean. Yeah. So this move allows us to fire eggs forwards and backwards. Only demonstrating the forwards one in this video, but we will get to see the backwards one in the next video. And boy is it great. Oh man. Um, in the Banjo-Kazooie reboot, oh, yeah? they just give you an egg gun, and it becomes a first-person shooter. Don't spoil things, Wild. Don't spoil things. Um, it's not so much a spoiler as a, an inevitability. I can't talk today, apparently. Yeah, I know. Um, I, because I just woke up. Spoilers. Uh, mm. but, uh, it was developed by EA. Oh no. Banjo-Kazooie yeah, 3 on rare. available early on Origin. Oh god, please I no. stick two forks in both my eyeballs. Honestly, I think that if they announced Banjo 3 at this point, like if it was rare, I think you would stick out forks in your eyeballs anyway. Yeah, I mean, I think if it came out at all, I'd just like explode from happiness and then I'd be dead, so I wouldn't be enjoying it anyway. I think honestly it would take more than, uh... They'd have to bring the old people back who worked on these ones because the people who work there at Rare now, oh, Rare is just a shell of its former self. Yeah, like most of the core people that made this game and the sequel uh, either went off to work freelance or they are now working at Retro Studios, which is a third party company of Nintendo who made Metroid Prime and Donkey Kong Country Returns. Also, Mario Kart 7. Retro Studios made Mario Kart 7? I think they helped with it. They didn't make it, but I think they assisted. Mm. <laughs> Retro Studios with the assist! <laughs> it's the talent drop. It's the best move in the game. No, it's not. But it's still, it's pretty useful. Par you might say that Kazooie has a little bit of a talent trot. There it is! Oh, it's the best! Wait, hold on, just get this to you. There we go. Let's not get too carried away. Talent trot! Da -da -da -da. Talent trot is Z button and the left, yeah, the left C button, and uh, it allows us to climb up steep slopes like this. It's great. Also allows us to move a lot faster than Banjo, so we're going to be using it to get around quickly. Unfortunately, it kind of makes a sort of annoying noise, so I apologize for that. Oh my god. It's like it's grating into my eyes and ears. I love the little hot two, three, four that is in awesome. the background. Yeah. When there's you get lots, there's to just the end, like though. lots of little things in this game that just make it great. Make sure to get that get that sweet mumbo token. Make sure to get it. Get that sweet mumbo 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 poken poken token token. Yeah. Alright, this is the last move. Uh, this is the only world that has three moves in it because you need to like learn these basic moves to kinda uh, progress through the game. Every world after it, or nearly every world after it, has got like one or two moves in it, but this is the only one that has three, I believe. And you see that? Kazuri just disappeared. She just, oh god! She just blipped out of existence. Boop. I'm gone. I'm done. <laughs> I must go now. I'm out. My people need me. So we like smash open these, these, uh, what I assume are houses that maybe some form of people live inside? Hut. We need them, but we need what's inside. It's justifiable... Maybe what lives inside are egg people. It's justifiable... Homicide? Damage. Just this is homicide, Dex. <laughs> damage. Oh, the ginger was living in there. We destroyed his house, but he lives in our backpack now. Good. Also, we've collected, collected enough notes to break over the first note door. You need 50, but, I mean, why not go all the way and get all 100 in one go? Why Are you going to get the 100 in each level? I'm going to do my best. Although, Dex, it, you're gonna disappoint me. it won't be possible, because there are some that you can't get out until you've learned moves, so you got to come back. Oh, okay. So, but I will always get the highest number that I can. Also... Never ever. Don't quite get it last, because yeah. you gotta get Always the thing. Always get that first. one last, because okay. you gotta get the honeycomb piece that's on top of there. It's very easy to forget, so don't do it. You, I'm guessing you've done it multiple times, haven't you? 
Oh yeah, I've done it a ton. Is there any way to uh, uh, redo it? Um, I think going inside of the ant hill and coming out resets it. Either that, or you just leave the level and come back. Okay. But there's no like easy reset. No, not really. But it's 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 a bit annoying. It's like uh. Just gotta leave and come back. <laughs> Not the greatest Christ. noise. Uh, speaking of noises that are like really annoying, I went and I had a look at some uh, Banjo Kazooie beta videos the other day, and holy shit, the noise they had for when you pick pick up the egg, it was the most annoying thing. Like every time Banjo walked over an egg, it made this it noise. It's like the fucking uh what is it called? Uh the Adams family? Yeah. 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 We got nine jiggies. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Yeah, I forgot to mention there are ten jiggies every level. There are ten. Ten jiggies in every level? Ten jiggies you get every level. Although not all of them will be available to you in some levels because you require to get some moves from other levels and then come back. There is an element of backtracking in this game. Although it's not too it's not too heavy. You're just gonna show where the jiggy is and how to get to it. Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Um speaking of rare and uh, beta videos. Oh yeah. Have you seen the beta videos for Conquer's Bad Fur Day? Oh the uh, the one where it, like it just looks like it's Banjo Kazooie but it's Conquer instead. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. What was the name of that game? I can't remember. It had Conquer a complete. Twelve Tales. Or that was like it. That. Yeah, the Twelve Tales. This is Mumbo Jumbo. We come inside of his hut and stand on his switch when we have enough Mumbo tokens, and he can transform us into a magical animal that we use to collect a jiggy. Come on, Mumbo, give us the chocolate. But we're gonna go take care of something first. Before we we reveal I'm... what happens when we step on that when we step on that switch. What do you mean? I don't think there's anything else we can there do. There is actually this one thing I kind of messed up a little bit and ended up having to kind of double back on myself. Gonna take the most efficient route. Whoops. This isn't a speed run, Dex. It's okay. I was kicking myself. I have to be honest. Yeah, was you were kicking. Oh yeah, you forgot to hit the grunty switch. Yeah, didn't you? it's the grunty switch. I noticed that late earlier. I was like, oh, man, you didn't even hit the grunty, grunty switch. switch. Yeah. Uh, grunty switches, they make a jiggy appear inside of Gruntola's lair, and that is it. So I didn't hit him. And it's like, well, here's the jiggy. Figure out how to get to it. That one's easy to get to. Uh, it's not the easiest one, but yeah, it's pretty easy to get to. There are easier ones. Like the um, the next one. The next one's a lot easier. Um, I don't think so, really. Well, because all, all all it involves doing is jumping across. That's it. In this one, you have to like. Well, you'll see. But like. The I thought you were talking about. I thought you were talking about um, the one where you gotta go in the ant hill. Was the other one what we're gonna do? No, that's the one we're gonna do next. Like right now. Um, oh, okay. But the one. After you complete the second level, that's easier to get to. You'll see. Oh, okay. You'll see. Don't worry. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're gonna show it off. It's yeah, okay. Don't worry. Boogada. And we're an ant now. Free change back when you're ready. You just have to come back to Mumbo and uh, press B. Oh, okay. Can the termite attack at all? No. Termite has no attack move. So basically, it's um, stay away from enemies or death. Yeah, basically. I mean, you have to get hit like six times, but six times is still six times to death. Yep, six and then six and then dead. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah, I mean, six, 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 six. It's really, it's really a uh, metaphorical talk about a. Uh, where did you get those shorts? I never saw that before. <laughs> Give me those shorts or else. Also, we got all hundred notes. Yeah, it. good job. So we've like we've officially got almost everything. All that's left is 
what's up on top of the ant hill, and we've got everything as well. He wants that cool backpack, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at it. It's awesome. It's got those, like, black straps on it. It's like a nice blue color. I love the, the one-up music. It's the best. Also, termites don't take falling damage, if I remember. Yeah, before. termites don't take falling damage. It's totally safe to jump off the top of that ant hill. You'll take no damage whatsoever. Oh, all right. All right. Well, we're done. That was uh, Mumbo's Mountain. Was Mumbo's Mountain. That was pretty good. Quick, pretty quick. Uh, got that done quickly. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. You just wanted an excuse to play this game again, yeah, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I knew it. All right. So. 100 we just collected, they will not stay uh, collected in the world. Well, so if you go back, there will be like yet another 100 notes to get, but that counts oh, okay. as your best overall note score. Oh, okay, so it's like you, so it get, you go in and you have a chance to get all 100 notes, but if it doesn't save the progress. Yeah. Alright. Which is something they improved on in the sequel, but we will. I will try my best to hold off about talking about the sequel, because we're, we're, yeah, we're discussing this, this game. Kazooie. Yeah, because this is Banjo-Kazooie. There'll be a time to talk about the next game. I can wait. <laughs> I can wait. I can wait. I can just imagine you right now, like, sitting, like, you're like, I can wait, and it's just you sitting there. Twitching. Just, like, checking your watch every five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> so this is a note door? This is the first note door. The 50. Next one is, I believe, 150. Okay, so you just gotta get 50 in this next level. Yeah. Um, this next level, I think, is my favorite one, if it's what I think it is. It is. But, that's the end of the video. That's the end. That's it. Well, that was, uh, that was part one of Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah. banjo banji Kazow. I hope you guys will stick around to watch more we got more coming next up mm -hmm. is the second level which is i think uh, it's one of my favorites so I, I think you really like it too yeah um it's what definitely one of my it's, favorites it's got some great music oh my god the music, the music is, amazing. is awesome the music in this whole game is amazing really uh i'm also planning on some short side videos because there are a couple of banjo kazooie related games on Game Boy Advance. And uh, there are a couple other Banjo-related games on other platforms. We're going to be taking a look at most of them. Maybe even yep. all of them. So Maybe. So stick around. It's going to be exciting. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. We'll have special guest stars. Some of which you've heard, some of which you haven't heard. You want guests on this, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Eventually. Okay. Yeah. Guests. Yeah, guests. Eventually. Yeah. Guests. Games. Videos. It's happening. Heavy and DLP. All right. Peace out. Thunderdome. L love you guys. We go in.